Every once in a while, I want to put out something on the YouTube channel that is impactful to the offensive or defensive meta, is completely free to you guys, and helps you guys understand the layers and the concepts that I teach over on Gridiron Game Plans. Now, yesterday we started off a series, a little two video mini series on making the 3-4 defense competitively viable. And it started with containing the quarterback. Today's video, we're gonna add in some insane coverage and I can't wait to show you exactly what we're cooking up. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Zam on YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to install correct coverage schemes in a 3-4 base defense. Now, of course, we talked about yesterday containing the quarterback. So I roll out, I glitch that contain. So I roll out, I glitch that contain, I glitch that contain, I glitch that contain, I glitch being able to split double teams and prevent them from scrambling. I think that the 3-4 defense is super underrated because the most important aspect of playing defense in Madden is keeping the quarterback in the pocket. Just want to say thank you so much for helping me reach 12,000 subscribers here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. It is the spring of 2022 and we're still pushing upwards with the channel. Things are really growing, not only here on the YouTube channel, but also on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Zan Madden, where I also stream Monday through Friday in the afternoons and obviously on the Gridiron Game Plans website and in our Discord where there's a ton of awesome community conversation. If you guys could do me a quick favor, make sure you guys, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button as we push for 13,000 subscribers and we'll see you guys here on the other side of this. Now, of course, there are ways to glitch contains. We know that at this point, we've talked about it way too much to be honest with you. Obviously, that does exist for all of you that want to say that you'll just side protect and double team. I get it. Trust me. But I think that the 3-4 in terms of defending the escape artist is really, really valuable because the main draw to a formation, like say for instance, my favorite defensive formation, which is Big Dime 236, is that when you spread the linebackers, they can't put double team icons on the edge players. But the Big Dime 236 can be weak box, which means that a lot of players will just go into a heavy run set like Ace or I form wing, which requires that I have to get out of the big time 236. And as it pertains to defenses in the game where you can keep good contain on a quarterback when they are under center with heavy run personnel, those are basically limited to two formations, either the nickel 335 wide, which is everybody's favorite defense in the game. So why would you want to be in something that everyone's faced nonstop for the last three years straight and knows how to be? I mean, we're smart, right? We're really smart. Or you could hop over to the 3-4. Now, again, everybody complains about the 3-4 because they say that it is just simply put, not a defense that gets animations. We talked about that yesterday. One AP, coverage linebackers, uh, run stopping archetypes, I believe get it as well. Field generals, you guys can get one AP lurkers, which is gonna allow you to get those leaping animations uh, and take away check downs by lurking lower and then being able to jump up higher. And a lot of players say, Safety at linebacker is better than linebacker at linebacker. And of course that is true, but linebacker at linebacker with lurker is better than safety at linebacker. And it's only one AP for the lurker ability, which is extremely, extremely valuable. Now, what we're gonna be talking about today is how to install the coverage. And it starts off with the three, four even. So we're gonna build on this. What we're gonna do is we are going to flick the right stick over to the left. And you're gonna see that there is a package known as strong safety at linebacker. And essentially what this is gonna do for your defense is it's going to make it such that you are able to uh, basically get the three safety rule. Now the three safety rule is the same reason that I like the two, three, six, because I create a coverage that is known as inverted cover three. And I'm not gonna get too deep with the inverted cover three because I've spent like three months teaching the down and dirty nuance on gridiron game plan. So if you guys wanna know how to lock down all of the metas, bunch, bunch, tight end, trips, tight end, tight, tight Y off, tight slots, go over to gridiron. I've been teaching that coverage and how to adjust it nonstop for about three months. You're gonna be able to use that coverage here in the three, four even. Now I'm not gonna teach everything, but I'm gonna kind of show you what I mean here. Let's go into bunch. Let's just say that somebody wants to run a rollout corner, uh, Z spot and go for instance. And they want to basically look to the sideline on the rollout side. So maybe they set up a street corner flat combo, something like this. The really, really cool thing about the three safety rule is that we can come out in the three, four even 
spread our linebackers, QB contain, and then when we go to these safeties, you'll notice that they have a unique set of assignments. Middle third, outside third, left and right, so they could play any third on in the game. The right safety could play a left outside third if you wanted to get crazy. Now, I don't do that, but it's available to you. Also have deep half left and right, so you could actually cross zone, which is really, really interesting as well um, for deep halves. And of course, mid read and blitz. But I think what's really, really valuable is telling a deep half safety in a cover two, hey, let's get a little bit more width over to the sideline. I want you to play an outside third to that side of the field. Now, what that's gonna allow you to do is maybe close center field from the back side, maybe you do something like this, and then maybe you put you know, this linebacker into a hard flat, or you could take this player right here and put him into a hard flat. It's up to you, but you're keeping really, really good contain on this. Uh, and then of course, yesterday we talked about the double team splits inside of those contains. You guys would put your best pass rusher at that spot. If I were you, I would probably find a way to get Chandler Jones in at one of the D lineman spots, but we're focusing on coverage here today. But when it comes to trying to roll out and beat this, uh, you're going to see that again, we can't put the double team icon on anybody, but the D line. Thank you for checking out this free content over here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys are enjoying this content, make sure that you guys also check out my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron Game Plans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our Vault Update, we go over the meta, or the most effective tactics available, being used by pro players on the MCS circuit, breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counteract those metas when you face them in online gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every game plan on the site all year long for just a low price of $9.95 a month. And you guys get access to our Discord channel, where we have members of the Gridiron Game Plans community chatting daily, helping each other get better at the game. And this also includes a lab session every single Wednesday night on the channel. So make sure you guys get over the website. If you guys are looking for the best escape artist defense in the community, you have to look no further. GridironGamePlans.gg. Now back to the video. So what ends up happening is we are confined to the pocket while trying to throw this deep skinny corner. You see right here, perfect contain. And if I go to throw that, you're gonna notice that you're gonna have a player that can break on that ball. Now, that was obviously open, right? Again, go to Gridiron Game Plans. I've got the total AP setup that you need, the shading rules, all the individual adjustments that you need. But clearly you saw that with maybe a little bit of help, acrobat, a knockout ability, this guy is so tight to this throw that this is gonna be a potential click on situation for you. You make contact with a knockout ability, they're gonna drop it, right? So there we go with that. I'm not gonna get too deep with it. But now this is really, really valuable because of the fact that you can avoid players or really people are going to try to avoid you when you're in the 236. And they're gonna come out in something that the 236 can't guard, which is for instance, this formation, the strong H wing. Because of the fact that there's two running backs and two tight ends on the field, they won't allow you to call a dime formation that will effectively contain them. Unfortunately, the 245 does not contain heavy personnel very well. So if I were to match this with a formation like the nickel 245, even if I spread those linebackers, base a line, spread the linebackers, I can still as an offensive player, get that double team icon on this player and still be able to, you know, roll out. So I can snap this football, got a double team on him. I now roll out and, you know, I'm looking for this, this corner route, which you see that we could have thrown for the one play score. So it's very, very frustrating to be in the two, four, five against this. So now we're back at the practice menu. And I want to show you guys a playbook that I think is probably the best defensive playbook. If you want to run everything that I run, all the stuff on gridiron, the stuff that I teach here on the YouTube channel, and you want to be in a book that has a lot of cool tricks like this 3-4 stuff I've been teaching. And that playbook is going to be the New England Patriots. And the reason you would want a New England Patriots defensive playbook is that it has the most common formations that I call. It's got the big dime 2-3-6, which is another formation where you spread the linebackers and they can't double team. It has the 2-4-5. It has the double A gap. It has 335 odd. Now it does not 335 wide, but again, I'm off meta. What it does have from a meta standpoint, though, is the 43 even 61. I'm not a fan of this, but a lot of you guys out there are. So you've got the 43 even 61. 
But when it comes to their 3-4, they have that 3-4 even with this package. Now, I didn't optimize depth chart on purpose. I wanna show this to you. What you guys would probably wanna do is you would want to go in to your depth chart and you will go to your right outside linebacker and that player, if he's a really good pass rusher, get him out of the game, waste this spot. So I'm gonna put Victor Dimukiji in this spot. He's slow, he's not somebody that's gonna play for me. That's gonna put Chandler Jones on the bench. Now, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna go in and we are going to sub in or sub out rather our starting strong safety and then we are going to sub him back in. What this is gonna do is it's gonna keep our strong safety one at that position. We are also gonna go to these linebackers and we are going to sub them out and then back in. The reason that we are doing this is that you want to have the players that you want at these spots to override the package. The only thing that you want to change with this package is who is at this spot. Now, if you do this trick, you've already subbed your strong safety one out and then back in. The game cannot sample him out of the depth chart because you've locked him in with the override. So strong safety two will go to this spot. Strong safety two, I would recommend just using a fast corner because he's gonna play a contain. So why not put the most elite runner or you know track star that you have on your team on you know in terms of secondary options at strong safety two. So now when I go into that particular package, you'll notice that now that corner is playing outside linebacker and that elite pass rusher that I wanted is now on the bench for me to sub in right here, which is super, super great because now I can sub in Watt and I can put another coverage linebacker at this spot at defensive end. Now we're in this package, right? So when we go in and try to run this, let's say somebody comes out in a heavy run set against us. So they come out in their I form H wing trying to avoid our, you know, our two, three, six dime. Now we come out in this, and essentially this is three down linemen, three linebackers, Golden, Collins, Simmons, and five secondary options. But one of those secondary options is playing outside linebacker, Wilson. Then you have the outside corner, Alford, Thompson, Baker, and Murphy. So it's basically a glorified 3-3-5 three, three, and 3-4 three, alignment. But again, we're in a defense that cannot be double teamed. So when we come out in this, we now can't be double teamed uh, on the wide side for this particular alignment. And then we also have the ability to activate our three safety rules. So if I wanna play that rollout corner, I can do so very, very easily. Set up a coverage just like this. Maybe you put this guy into a flat right here, and then I'm lurking on this player in the middle of the field. Maybe you drop this guy into a spy in the middle. And now when they go to do their double team logic on the outside, and they try to you know, get that double team icon on that outside linebacker, that's not a possibility. So we're gonna get a perfect contain. And if I go to scramble, I can't get out and throw that corner. And now we're in trouble, especially on the backside, we have a backside corner in contain that is very, very tough as well. Now you did probably notice there in that particular setup, that when I ran this particular defense, I base a line, I spread my linebackers. It was not really letting me, oh, now it's working. Okay, I might've accidentally clicked onto Wilson and moved him. But when you do base a line and spread your linebackers in three, four, like we taught yesterday, you can't get that double team icon onto that player. Now there are certain other packages in three, four that sometimes an outside linebacker is too tight and you can double team him. I start to think of over and under because that deals with over shifting and under shifting of linebackers, but we're gonna finish up this particular video by showing you guys why I officially think from a coverage standpoint, three, four can be viable. Keep in mind, we've got one AP lurkers all over the place, all over the place. Very, very cheap to animate at linebacker. I know it costs and that sucks, but you get really, really awesome animations for one AP. The cool thing about the three, four odd is that it has every coverage you could ever want. It's got cover three, cover one, cover one robber, Tampa two, cover two hard flat, cover two sink, cover three match. It's got man coverage, dog blitzes, loop blitzes. It's got quarters, which is my favorite thing in the world is be, be able to match certain things, especially when they're under center with slow tight ends on the field. Uh, cover six, which has uh, obviously some matching principles, palm rules are in there. Cover three cloud, which is great. If you guys watched the PA boot over video the other day, us bagging PA boot over. What if I told you that you could guard PA boot over without having to lurk the skinny post? 
is one of the most commonly spam plays in all of Madden 22. And honestly, if you guys can shut down this play, you're gonna win far more games off of that skill alone. Obviously it has all kinds of coverages. Um, and one of the things that's really, really awesome about the trick that I'm teaching you today is that if you activate the strong safety at linebacker package, you can then audible into other three, four formations and that also translates. So having the three, four even in your playbook is going to make every three, four formation that you could possibly call all that much better. Let's go ahead and take it into kind of uh, something pretty meta real quick. Uh, so let's talk about verticals, that, that wheel route in verticals, right? So one of the things that I love about the inverted cover three, and I honestly feel like I'm teaching too much here. things about the inverted cover three that I love is that we can basically lock down. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and, you know, QB contain and I could put this guy into a vert hook, right? Maybe put this guy in a spy and lurk on the back side. What's really, really awesome about the inverted cover three is that the vert hook on the, the tight end side really allows you to play that wheel route. Everybody loves this combo. They all want to like snap the ball and then, you know, throw that low ball wheel. And you're going to have a defensive lineman dropping right off the ball into that throwing lane. And if that's a coverage linebacker, that's going to be a guy that's going to have 90 plus speed going back the other direction. We're at the point in the year where there's not that much speed discrepancy between 97 speed Patrick Sertan and like 95, 96 speed outside linebackers that are coming out in the Easter promo. I mean, a pass coverage Ray Lewis just came out. Uh, in the promo. So we're getting these cheap coverage linebackers with these cheap coverage abilities and knockout abilities. And I, a lot of players are just saying no because they're linebackers. Well, honestly, what's so great about this is while you could use this 3-4 against the bunch meta, all the players that struggle to run the bunch meta against, you know, like the 2-3-6, they tend to go hide under center. And now you've got the exact same coverage and they can't hide from it. They can't escape the pocket. And that is what this video is about. And that is what the last two days of videos are about here on the channel. So basically we just gave you an ebook for free, a, a full defensive game plan for free. Now I didn't, like I said, I didn't teach all of the coverage stuff. If you guys want to learn how to run perfect match, it's on the website. If you guys want to know the exact adjustments that you need to make for the inverted cover three, it's on the website. But in terms of being able to contain the quarterback, call all the coverages you need, and when they go to hide from you under center and try to use escape artists under center, you have a clear cut answer for that. And that's key. I'm personally gonna be in the Pats playbook moving forward. If you guys wanna join me, head over to Gridiron Game Plans. Check me out on Twitch. I'll be streaming out of this playbook for probably the rest of the year. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos of the last two days. I know you guys did. Make sure you guys drop a like for me. It does me a lot, helps in the algorithm. Make sure you guys comment below. We'll see you guys on Monday with the next video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.